guess more emotion. I mean, maybe a season's worth of emotion in in, just, in one game. No I doubt. Mean, yeah, it was just. I think you know everything rolled into the first game is just wow. I mean, and, and we're just you know I'm so anal about the time and. We're gonna go out at 57 minutes before to do this, and we left us. I, mean, I wouldn't have changed one thing we did. I mean, I, I felt so good, and then you get here, and I and I had talked about that. I said there might be a lightning delay, there might be bus problems, and sure enough, you know, you get here, and it's um, it's it, whatever delay it was. It, from slow start to you know intense finish. Just talk about recovering from. The difficult start to pulling it, pulling it through in the third quarter, and then, and then pulling out. But in both of those parameters, the slow start. You know, I was so disappointed early. There were so many plays offensively that we had. I mean, if we pit, get the ball pitched, I mean, we we felt like we knew that what they were going, which is a, a tough thing. You know, when they blitz you and play the uh, cover zero a lot or man free, and <laughs> I mean, they're a high because we had not seen it, but we had a good idea it was coming, and we had. We had a lot of the calls we wanted in the first half, and we just didn't get it pitched. And then, you know, right before the the half, we have that yeah. mess up where our quarterback, you know, we're just, I think he's going to get up and run the play, and then if we're going to have all the time out if we need to. So you put them in these situations, but just the urgency and the band and the crowd, and, and that's the thing you try and get across to them is just a sense of urgency. Mm -hmm. And so, but first half, so proud of the defense. Just. And that's why we talk about defense so much. They kept us in the game. And that's why we work them so hard. And so look where they came from, from you know, where we were before and what they did. And then the big turnaround by our offense in the second half. You know, so got lost a few guys to cramps at the end of the game. And, we, you know, that's why very thing, man, you talk about so much playing those stuff. We had threes. We had our B1s on the field in that last drive. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And so. On the last defensive Oh, stage. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we had starters cramped up and um, you know and a lot of that defensively goes back to how many snaps they had played the first half which was our fault offensively and you know I'm looking back and I see well I know that ain't Max 11 that's playing back there on right. that corner right. so I right. knew you had gotten, gotten deep um, I, I got I a couple things on it's sure. hard to hit the, the main the, the delay you know your first play you go you go delay at a game I mean now I mean, I knew you ain't got a lot on top, but you pull your hair out off of that, you know? Well, you know. Was it not getting I, a play in? Well, I, I, yeah, I would have to go. I'm going to go back and look at that because I don't think they reset it after the. Um, after the kick? Uh -uh. Uh -huh. They didn't. But I'll go back and look at it before I, before I make a comment on it. But, you know, I told them we're not going to have that too many times as a, as a tempo team, you know, especially coming after a timeout. So when did they start? You know, when did they start that clock, you know, because we knew what our first play was. We've only worked it for about seven days. So. <laughs> we screwed up right before half, but I don't know if we screwed that one up. I think they missed that one, to be honest with you. Um, explain the decision, Eli over Max, on the quarterback spot. And I well, know you kept it close all the way through. And yep. You knew I was trying to, you know, and I thought I was gigging you a little bit. This, sure. This afternoon, I kind of said, all right, look, it's close. Can you say Eli, now? Well, you know, coming from the spring, Eli had the better. I mean, he, he was just better. I mean, he kept improving and Max kept improving. And what Eli brings you is the scramble ability. And that's why I tell you, when they got seven guys up in there, there wasn't a lot of places to scramble. Most normal defenses, there's going to be some lanes in there. So, I still feel good about it. You know, Eli had a few pitches he could have made better. And, you know, the good news is he's a red shirt freshman. We got him going and, and he'll get another chance. Max came in and he was still a little rusty, but really when he got going, you know, had the bad pick right there, down there in our own territory. But other than that, I thought he had a really solid night. Uh, now, what's that? You know, is it is Max the guy going forward? Or do you go back to? Well, right now he he's, he'll be the guy. You know, starting Monday. Yeah. You know, let's see what the week looks like and what the other team looks like. And you know, I think as long as we keep that, we feel like we can go with two guys. You know, West came in the other day in a two-minute situation looked like a million dollars. So, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's a good thing to have. Right. You know, no, like it, I said it. it, it hey. You weren't getting it done. We went with the other guy. And he wasn't the worst. It was just, you know, we needed something different. So he'll learn from it. And so, you know, hopefully Mike will too. Could you have called timeout at the end of the half? Did you think you could get a play in? And if you needed to, you would have called it? What was, what was going Well, on? I asked Coach Gross. He said, we're fixing to run the play. I said, we'll get a timeout as soon as you run this play. And then the quarterback gets up and starts calling. You know, we changed it from one side to the other, which was 
That's our fault. I mean, and it starts with me. I mean, we should have, he should, you know, and we're trying, what it is, we were trying to tempo, you know, and, and we have a word for tempo, and there, I mean, we've just ran it down to the inch line. <laughs> Run the same play as fast as you can. Right. Well, then he gets up and starts checking it, which, as I always say, when, when a guy does something that he shouldn't do, then it goes back to we coached him like that. So I take the blame for that. You know, that will not happen again. But run the same play, and if we don't get it, we should have had time for two plays. Just without even having to call a timeout, but we had our timeout. You know, but, but those guys have got to learn in those situations, just like the safeties. They've got to learn to look to the sideline and, and you know, we give them a timeout or, we, you know, so. Sometimes they don't realize it till they get out there, even though we've tried to tell them. And, I mean, it's our first game yet. You yeah. know, so some of the things I've been telling them, now I can say, in game number one, here it was that I've told you a thousand times and made it important, and hopefully, you know, they'll realize it. And we still got the dead. I feel good about it. Um, I made a play, but it wasn't nothing special I did. Coach called a play, and we. And they um, threw the ball. We didn't expect them to throw the ball. So when they threw the ball, somebody had to make a play. If um, coach called a play, if I went in and my backup Harrison was in, we swap in and out every series. So if he was in, he would have made the same as that play, I believe. It, I mean, it, it was tense all through. I mean, a lot of emotional things in the ball game. But as tight as the game was, um, it, I mean, it, it could have gone either way. If I mean, you were the guy in the spot to make the part. I mean, just talk about that that part that somebody had to, whether it was yeah. you or somebody, to stop them guys because yeah. they had a good field goal. I mean, they had us, they had us in a tough um, situation. I just give all the praise to God. And, um, for some reason, the coach threw the ball, and we made them pay for it. Um, coach, um, coach Walker called a great play. We um, did the play to perfection, and I happened to get a pick in the play, so I just thank our defense for stepping up. And, and really, it had almost all game. The two touchdowns you'd given up were like short yardage deal. The defense really, really played good most of all, really the whole game today. How well did they play? Um, the defense, we actually didn't play our best today. We got a lot of growing up to do. We got a lot of good um, things showing, but we played with a lot of heart today. So and we played as dogs together. We stayed together when. When things were going bad, we stayed together. When um, we had a short field, we stayed together. We got scored on, we stayed together. We told the offense, keep their head up and keep going. We're going to um, be their teammates and have their back. And then what you do during the delay? It took you an hour and a half before we started because of the weather. How antsy was it in here? Um, we were just anxious to play. We've been in camp. We've been um, with Coach them since January 2nd, I believe. We were just ready to play this game. We felt like um, they was holding us back. And we just kept getting up, trying to stay warmed up. But we came out and got a victory, so that's the only thing that really mattered right now. Well, yeah, you knew for a week or something that you were going to be the starter. Right? Then, you know, how long did you know before today's game that you were going to be the guy to go, to go out there the first time? Oh, uh, I mean, probably a couple of days. Uh -huh. Like you said, like a week or so. Okay. Before I get into asking you about that, you knew for a week, first game's here, you're going to be the guy, and then we get to delay for like an hour and a half. How's that emotionally play with um, you? I mean, I guess it is what it is. I mean, it was a delay. I was ready to go. I mean, the delay kind of made everybody relax a little bit. Like, everybody was ready to go at first, and everybody started relaxing. I mean, we still came out. You know, Win, so it wasn't too much of a delay. From the start all the way through, um, how did it feel not to be the guy? You know, I mean, I know it was a tight competition all the way through through camp, and then when the decision was made, to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I, at the beginning of camp, I you know I didn't I didn't do as well as I thought, but I thought the last couple of weeks I've really fine tuned my game and got it to where I need to be. So I felt once I got in the game, I knew I was I was going to be ready to go and be on point. And just you know, you know, coming in late in the game, that's you know, that's kind of what I've done my whole career. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it at all. But you know, you trust in the, you got to trust in the coaches. They got they got their they got a plan. Mm -hmm. Is and then once you got in the game, uh, you know, how antsy were you? When's my when's the chance coming? When's the chance coming? Were you that way on the sideline? Not during the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, you always any any player wants to get in the game, so it was just a matter, of, you know, just trying to stay calm. That's the main thing, being a backup. You got you got to be ready and you got to be calm at the same time. 